Yo, what is going on guys? In this video today, I'll be showing you guys how to add a Spotify overlay to Streamlabs OBS. So the first thing that you're going to do is you want to click the, video, the link in the video description uh, that will bring you to this page here. And once you're at this page, you're going to want to click Snip um, Zip version 5.7.5. Uh, you want to click on it. Then in the bottom left corner, it will start the download. Once that is done, you want to click on it and hit Open. Then my WinRAR, which is my file converter, will uh, extract all the files, and then you'll be left with this page here. Once you're here, you're going to want to open this page and go to Snip. You're going to click, double-click on it and then hit Run. Then you will be prompted with this screen. This screen might not look the same for you, but if it doesn't look the same for you, what it's going to ask you to do is it's going to ask you to type in your Spotify a login information so that it can link with your Spotify account. But once you do that, then you will be prompted with the screen. But in the meantime, I'll just close this out since I've already done this process. Now we will close uh, Chrome. Then you can go ahead and minimize these two things. Then you will look down here in the bottom right, and you will see the little snip icon right here. You want to right click and go to set output format. Now you can mess around with uh, the format in uh, snip right here that will be displayed in your OBS. But for now, I will just keep everything the same, and then it's just hit save. And then now to add this to your Streamlabs OBS, this is what you're going to do. It is uh, quite simple. Uh, you're going to bring over OBS right here. Go ahead and minimize this a little bit, right that. And then you're going to want to bring up a new source. Now you're going to want to open a new source to add a text file. So to do that, you're going to click Add Source. You're going to want to click text. It's down here. You want to click text and then hit add source. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to keep it text. And then you want to hit add source, and then you're going to change the font to whatever you would like it to be. My personal favorite font is uh, digital tech. And then you're going to want to. You can change the font size around, but 36 is a good uh, size. Then you're going to hit read from file, and then you're going to hit browse. This is where you're going to want to find the snip text file from the snip application so just go to this PC uh, search in this PC just type in snip then once you're here you will see some snip um, snip files you're gonna wanna right click the snip dot text file you wanna hit open file location and once you're here you're gonna wanna copy this you can X this out and then go back to file name and paste it here now once you do that you're just gonna wanna hit open now that is all we need to do for the text file then just hit done now you'll see it in the top right corner but nothing will be shown that's because we are currently not playing any music so now you're going to want to open up spotify now this also does work with apple music also um, then you're just going to want to play any song i'm just going to go ahead and play this song then There we go. Uh, you have to give it a couple seconds to boot up, but there you go. Snip will pop up in the bottom right corner showing that it's playing a song. And then boom, up here, you can see that it is playing a song. It is showing the song right here. Heating Up featuring Gunna by Lil Baby. Now, you can put this wherever you want. I personally uh, prefer the top right corner. It shows off a nice display. And boom, that is how you show the Spotify logo to your viewers. I mean the Spotify song to your viewers. Now to make it look a little nicer and add a scroll effect, you're going to right click the text file, you want to click filters, then you're going to apply a new filter. The filter that we will be applying for the scroll effect will be just called scroll. So and then hit done. And you're going to change the horizontal speed to about 30 so that it slowly scrolls across the screen for your viewers to see. Then just hit done. And boom, there you can see that it is scrolling. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And almost every day I stream on twitch.tv forward slash PC Mastermind. If you guys would like to check me out there, I will leave a link in the description along with the link for the Snip application. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.